Mark, welcome. Uh, please tell me a little bit about yourself, Matrix, and your team. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I'm Mark Price. I'm the CTO of Matrix. So Matrix provides the industry-leading solution for rating and charging, enabling monetization of next-generation networks for telco and enterprise. It's a mission-critical platform that enables service providers to achieve return on investment for their network spend. More and more, we're seeing with the evolution to 5G networks in sight that operators are implementing Matrix so that they can create new service offerings and revenue streams. And our solution is providing users real-time visibility and control so the application requires very high throughput and low latency. What are some of the drivers behind Matrix direction to leverage Red Hat OpenShift and IBM Cloud for 5G workloads? Telecommunication service providers are moving to the cloud and they're embracing cloud native paradigms to gain operational advantages as they're rolling out 5G. Matrix is a key partner of Red Hat and for the IBM telecommunications ecosystem because our Telco customers are looking for the right cloud infrastructure to run charging and monetization workloads, processing high volumes with low latency in hybrid models. And this increasingly involves slicing and mobile edge computing. So telecom is unique because operators can own and operate the networks and support uh, all other industries. Telecom networks process more transactions a day than the largest companies in other industries do in a year. The user density varies greatly. The workloads are very dynamic and high response can mean single digit millisecond latency. So not any cloud will suffice. Telco needs a level of service fit to deliver on next generation networking needs. Together, Matrix and the Telco Ready Cloud are designed just to deliver on that. And how easy was it to deploy and test Matrix application with such high performance and scalability requirements? Expectations for a network function like charging delivered in a cloud environment are high. Telecom needs hybrid and edge solutions to manage dynamic workloads and have aggressive performance and latency requirements. So the IBM hybrid cloud team understands this need, uh, provides out of the box open shift clusters that work well with Matrix's cloud native product. The only configuration needed relates to defining environmental variables like IP addresses and volume names. Once the desired architecture is determined, it's easy to replicate and create new instances of Matrix subdomains. OpenShift is, is optimized for, for workloads across private and public cloud with features and support like network SLAs and performance. And Matrix is a high throughput, low latency application that has infrastructure requirements like processing power, network, and IO bandwidth that were made easily available to us by IBM. So with this environment, we are able to demonstrate automated pricing updates like CICD, uh, the combination of automating customer journeys and service delivery means that our operator customers can now automate monetizing and charging in entirely new ways. Uh, Mark, what business opportunities have opened up for Matrix because of this work with IBM? So, so we recently completed benchmarks in the IBM cloud for telecommunications. And as part of our due diligence for our telco customers, we ran traffic that is typical for a tier one large scale operator with over 100 million subscribers. So the performance was phenomenal. We achieved more than 200,000 transactions per second with an average end-to-end -end latency of around seven milliseconds. Wow. Yeah. So as service providers are increasingly pushing to harness the benefits of cloud infrastructure, this benchmark demonstrates Matrix and IBM together are enabling them to run critical workload like charging in the cloud. It's really an important milestone as 5G is opening up huge opportunities to enable new services across industries. There are actually now more IoT connections like connected cars, smart home devices, connected factory equipment, than there are non-IoT connections like smartphones and laptops. So we think with, with over 30 billion IoT devices predicted to be connected in the next four years, telecom needs proven capabilities to scale in anticipation of managing 10 to 20 times the growth in traffic. And Mark, how did the hybrid cloud build team uh, from IBM help Matrix? Well, from the start, the IBM hybrid cloud team was very responsive in working with Matrix. Helped us to provision the resources we needed to demonstrate a Matrix subdomain. Matrix worked very closely with IBM to understand the choices for shared storage and load balancing that would be available for our solution. And IBM was very helpful in sharing the pros and the cons of each solution, identifying the right options to ensure high performance with Matrix. Overall, we're really grateful for the partnership and believe that together we have an outstanding future. 
Mark, thank you so much. This was uh, a great interview. I appreciate the collaboration that IBM as Matrix has. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing many more such opportunities to collaborate and then win in the market. So thanks a lot and take care. Thank you very much.